I just put up a post, okay? I put up the post, and in the post, what I was saying in the post is, share your journey, share your life, share your story, don't play small, don't play small time, and then people start commenting, and what people started to comment was small talk. It was, well, I'm going to play small because so-and-so doesn't like me. Or I'm going to play small because my mom doesn't believe in me. Or I'm going to play small because my, my dad played small and I don't want to upset my dad. I'm not going to share my journey because other people ridiculed me. Or I'm not going to share my story because I don't want people to talk about me. I, I don't want to share what I'm going through because I don't want to be criticized. Like my question is this, how much longer can, if you're seeing this and you feel like you're playing small, how much longer can you afford to do that? How much longer can any of us afford to play small? Like there's too, there's too much abundance in this world and in this universe and in your body to play small. There's, there's, there's just too much. Like there's too much energy to play small. Why would you play small? Why would you care about your haters as people say? People always wanna talk about their haters. Well, this person doesn't like me. Well, this person doesn't approve of me. Well, if I don't do this, my mom isn't gonna blah, blah, blah. Or my... Who cares? Maybe you believe in reincarnation, I don't know. But if you believe that we have one life, if you believe you literally have one life, why would you play small? Why would you try to appease whoever else? Why would you be chasing the validation of, here's the thing, I posted this before. Think about this when you're chasing validation. You are often trying to get people who don't like themselves to like you. Think about that for a second. I'm about to spend all of my life and all of my energy to get these people over here to like me, even though they don't even like themselves. So I'm going to shrink myself. I'm going to play small. I'm going to people please and do whatever it takes to appease these people even though they don't like themselves under the muse of, if I do this, they'll say that they like me. And then once they say that they like me, I'm good to go. I'm great now. All of a sudden, everything is good. That makes no sense. Wake up. I need you to understand this. Life is energy. Everything that we experience is energy. Words are energy. When, when you feel the wind blow over you, that's energy. Every time you're stepping on the ground, you put your feet in grass, that's energy. When you feel the sun rays, that's energy. When you enter conversation with someone, you are exchanging energy. Everything is an energetic exchange. Everything we experience, the food that you're putting in your body is energy. It's not a party, it's energy. Everything we experience is energy. So we have to be so mindful of the energy that we're choosing. Are you going to choose energy of, I need all these people to like me? People who don't like themselves, I need y'all to like me. If so, I need you to recognize that that energetically makes no sense. And because you're seeing this, you are already vibrating above that thought. If you came into this live and you said, yeah, I, I used to be that way, I need you to recognize that right now you just made a vibrational shift into a new way of thinking. That old way of thinking no longer exists. You no longer can live your life chasing the validation of people who don't even like themselves to somehow, somehow justify your human existence. It makes no sense. And since you're hearing this right now, and since you're seeing me right now, you have already transcended into a new level of thinking. You have to now because you just heard what I said. You are no longer operating at that level. OK, Sylvester, I need my mom to like me. I need my dad to like me. People always say this. They say, well, what about family? What about family? What is a family member? A family member is a human being. What are you? You are a human being. So why are you putting anybody on a pedestal? There's two things we have to do. We have to take people off of pedestals and we have to stop putting ourselves below the pedestals. Somebody write that down, DM it to me because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote that and I'm going to post that as a quote. Stop putting people on pedestals and stop putting yourself below the pedestals. That is a learned behavior. Do you know where you learned that from? You probably learned it from your parents. Do you know where you learned it from? You probably learned it from the kids in your neighborhood. Do you know where you learned it from? You probably learned it from school. Do you know where you learned it from? The shame-based society that we live in that wants you to play small. Do you recognize that every voice 
that wants us to quote unquote wake up, every voice that wants us to recognize our own power, every voice that wants us to see the quote unquote truth. Do you realize that those voices get silenced and muffled? Do you recognize that? Why? Why do you think that is? Because the society benefits when we play small. The society benefits when women don't like their bodies. Why? Because now we can sell you all types of shit to make us money because you don't like yourself. So we're going to say we're going to sell this product to you and it's going to make you like and love yourself. No, they don't care about you. They don't care about you. Yeah, man. You know what, man? We know that you're weak. This is how they get men. They get men with strength. Right? We know you don't want to be weak because being weak as a man is emasculation. And if you are emasculated as a man, you experience in psychology what we call ego death. And when your ego dies in psychology as a man, you feel weak. So you feel like less than. Now here comes the shame. So men, what we're going to do is we're going to make you recognize that if you don't look like this, if you don't have this much money, if you don't drive this car, you are weak, man, meaning you are emasculated, meaning you are going through ego death, meaning you are not a man. Shame based society. Wake up. Forget off the politics. Get on to objective observation of what this reality is. This reality is a shame based society and they want us to play small. Why did I name my book Free Your Energy? Because I want the readers of the book to free themselves from the chains of a limiting belief system. What someone said, get off the TV. Well, what's on the TV? Shame. Small. What are the consequences of shame? Shame makes you retreat. Shame makes you small. The second that you recognize we live in shame based societies, the second that you recognize how much power is actually inside of you. It is not until you fully embrace, man, these motherfuckers don't want me to like myself. Once you embrace that and once you see that fully, you are you are now free. Once you recognize, hmm, every time I come on Instagram, they, they, they like you, you, you people, you, you don't want me to like myself. Every time I'm in this in this supermarket, you got ads up here selling me stuff that's not adding to my longevity. You're giving me what? High, high fructose corn syrup? What? How many nutrients are in this you're selling me? Why aren't you selling me nutrients? Oh, because you want me to eat that food that's going to bring my body into a lower vibration so I can so I can continue to choose lower vibrations. Oh, OK. That makes sense. That makes sense to me. Oh, you don't want me to have my own opinion on what science is or what health is. You want me to believe these people on the TV because they know more than me. Oh, OK, I get it. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, I'll believe you. I'll never question what you tell me about what's safe, about what's science. No, 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 I'll never question it. Yeah, because I'm too stupid to think on my own anyway. So I'm just going to go with whatever you tell me because you're the expert. I'm not going to investigate that for myself. No, 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 you're the expert. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take it at face value. Do what for health? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, who's triggered? Because I'm triggered. We need to be triggered. OK. My name is Sylvester Bacon the third. If this is the first time that you saw me speak, consider hitting that follow button if you like this type of content and we'll keep it rolling. Hope you continue to free your energy.